Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here, and today we have a special video dedicated to Breath of the Wild on the latest version of Simu 1.7.4. This update is huge when it comes to Zelda, and it brings along many fixes and changes. It's bringing the game so much closer to being completely playable, however, it will still not be perfect. Keep in mind your experience and performance may differ, but in this video I will be using the US version of the game on update 1.1.1 with the DLC running on an i7-4790K and a 1070 with Simu Hook version 310. So with that out of the way, let's get right into this. One of the biggest fixes with 1.7.4 is that the Magnesis Rune now works. This means that the Magnesis Trial can be beaten just as you would expect it to, allowing you to get a Spear Orb and complete it without using a glitch. The Magnesis Rune now also works outside of the Trial, allowing you to use it to your heart's content. Along with Magnesis, Stasis now works in 1.7.4. This allows you to complete the Stasis Trial and gain another Spear Orb needed to leave the Plateau. The Stasis Rune also works outside of the Trial, allowing you to use it anywhere in the Hyrule Kingdom. With these two runes now working, it is possible to get all four of the required Spear Orbs and get the Paraglider without using any glitches. With this fixed, it should be very easy to progress through the game now without having to worry about relying on these abilities. Although the Cryosis Trial was beatable in 1.7.3, the rune would not work everywhere outside of some select trials throughout the world. However, with 1.7.4, the rune is now working everywhere and shouldn't create any issues. Water now works perfectly in 1.7.4, allowing you to swim and grab fish, along with using Cryosis. Cold water now kills you as well, so be wary of that. Although this means you can no longer pick up fish from the bottom of the sea, I think it's a worthy trade-off. With this latest update, grass now appears to be rendering normally throughout the world, along with other foliage. Along with it now being visible, it reacts to wind and lights on fire as well. Although it's not directly related to the grass, Link no longer falls through the ground either. This makes the game look significantly better and really attributes to the atmosphere of the game as well. Lighting is now far better throughout the game, and one of the areas that it is most noticeable is in shrines. When playing on 1.7.3, almost every, if not all, shrines had an odd red glow inside of them, which was not normal. However, on 1.7.4, this is fixed and much smoother throughout the rest of the game. The volumetric lighting works far better than before and is noticeably superior everywhere in the game. Overall performance on 1.7.4 still leaves a lot to be desired, sadly. I've seen very conflicting reports of how Breath of the Wild is running for some people, but in my case, it's pretty rocky even with Simu Hook. Due to the nature of the plugin, sometimes, mainly in shrines, the game runs so fast that it is hard to even control Link. However, in other parts, the game performance is barely crawling along. I'd say that I average around 20 frames per second while still receiving my fair share of stuttering. Performance is at its best when in shrines, coming close to a solid 30, but during combat it can still drop far lower than 20 as well. However, with all this being said, the Simu devs did say that there was not going to be any performance increase with 1.7.4, so this somewhat lackluster performance is to be expected. However, along with the FPS and stutters, I've been getting a significant number of crashes as well, mainly after fast traveling. While it's certainly inconvenient, it usually works fine when I reload Simu, and it isn't a huge issue as long as I've saved recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, please leave a comment below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. It's crazy to see how quickly Breath of the Wild is evolving on Simu, and it might be 100% playable sooner than we could have ever imagined. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!